Merely three years after the Japanese occupation had ended, Malaya and Singapore were engulfed in yet another crisis. On 24th June 1948, an emergency was declared in both Malaya and Singapore after a series of violent acts by the Communist Party of Malaya, or the CPM. Founded in 1930, the CPM was outlawed soon after by the colonial government. But during the Japanese occupation, the British and the CPM put aside their differences and joined forces to fight against the Japanese. As a result, the CPM emerged from the war with its prestige enhanced and its leaders like Xi Jinping highly respected. Emboldened by public support, the CPM rallied the working class against the colonial authorities. It infiltrated trade unions, farm and rural organizations, student groups and clan associations. But the final straw was in 1948 when the CPM killed three European planters in Perak. Within a month, the British banned the CPM and declared a state of emergency across the peninsula. Many CPM members went underground and took up arms against the British. In 1950, the CPM attempted to assassinate Franklin Gimson, the governor of Singapore. This prompted Gerald Templer, the British High Commissioner in Malaya, to embark on an aggressive campaign to win the hearts and minds of people. He made a controversial move to resettle farmers living on the fringes of the jungle into new villages that had perimeters secured against infiltration by the CPM, who depended on these villagers for food and information. Templer's strategy worked. By end 1958, the CPM's underground armed units were forced to withdraw to the jungles of southern Thailand. But by then, more than 8,000 civilians and security personnel had been killed or wounded.